What exactly have we done wrong, buddy? <laughs> I washed my bike the other day and um, now my LCD display doesn't work. I'm very, very upset. Now I need fuel, I don't even know, and oh my gosh, I just don't know what's going on now. I'm more confused. So this is location scout, um, like section two, I guess. This time, I've got a scrambler buddy. <laughs> this guy's name is Corey, he's a wedding photographer, and he lives pretty close to my warehouse. So I thought, oi! Let's get some snaps of each other. Makes it a little bit easier than setting up a tripod and doing the thing that I taught you guys before. Um, and plus he had the scrambler which is mad and he felt some mine. That's why he built his like the way he did. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And it's actually sick just, you know, hanging out with a local dude who knows where he's actually going rather than, you know, me just going wherever I can. He just fit, he just fit some Zards up. Um, he had the Vance and Hines and he saw mine was just like, nah, Vance and Hines suck. <laughs> If you have hands and hides, I'm sure you enjoy them. I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna do a full-on switcheroo. I'm gonna put the Vance and Hines on mine, and then see how I like it for like a week or something before he sells it. So if you want a Vance and Hines pipe, he's gonna be selling it secondhand. Well looked after. He looks after his bike, not like me. Mine's seen some stuff though. Oh, has it seen some stuff? He's just like bloody brand new man. So he's is the Sandstorm edition. So it's got more balls than mine, it's got ride modes, it's got bloody better brakes, it's got Brembo's, mine's got the crappy Nissans. Ah, ah. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> but those sides are bloody heaps loud. Let me, I want to I show you guys, I'll show you guys, I guess I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. So this is Yarraville. Yarraville's a vibe. Don't know about the little circles on the road though. The rest is pretty cool. Ah, uh, yeah, so he was talking about, Corey was talking about getting some nice shots with the, the lights and getting some nice bokeh. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. What do you reckon? I don't know, what do you want to do? There's heaps of people here though, eh? I don't really want people in my shots. Nah, it's a Friday afternoon, eh? <laughs> I always do this on a Friday. I mean, Friday's a vibe. Oh, let's just keep cruising. Yeah, cool. Probably got enough time to do a little run around Williamstown and then... And then head to the spot. So uh, he's taken me to a, uh, a sick railway spot or something. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's on Google Maps. Crap, how's his Insta360 going? <laughs> this is a bumpy road. So I'm feeling a little dusty today, guys. I had a pretty big night last night. It was the opening for Hamilton, the musical here in Melbourne. And my partner Romina, she's in the show. So it was a big old after party and it's been a while and all day man. I've just been on the waters, I've been on the Gatorades and I've been on the bloody toilet. <laughs> on the toilet though. Not heading it, just, just sitting on it, that's all. So if you're new to the channel, I have just moved to Melbourne recently, uh, back in January and I'm now motor vlogging my little exploration rides. We're exploring it together. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Rob. That's Corey. He's not usually on the channel, but he's just riding with me today. Uh, we're checking out some new spots, checking out some new locations. I always imagine it's like shroud clearing as I'm exploring the different areas of Melbourne, you know? The map's growing in my head. It's crazy man, moving to a city is absolutely like mental. You don't know anyone, you don't know where to go, you don't know what to do. And you have Google Maps on all the time. And I feel like with me, I don't know about you guys, but when I use Google Maps, I don't really learn where I'm going. That's where we were before. And it's where you have maps off. That's when you sort of, you're taking it all in, you know? You're, you're bloody learning the roads. You're gonna learn the roads. And so that's the Sandstorm Edition. Look at that thing, man. It looks cool. He's got some um, Shinko, I don't know what the tyres are, but they're really nice and knobbly looking, really aggressive looking. They're probably pretty garbage in the wet, I'd imagine. And um, I don't know how they go quartering really hard. He doesn't really, you know, ride that thing the way I ride mine. What are they called? The banking sensors, the little nuts on the bottom of the pegs. Mine need replacing, they're almost just 
gone. So the aim of today is to shoot the gear that I am wearing today, which is um, Black Pup Moto's The Bobber. There we go. It's the Bobber jacket. This is this distressed leather. It looks cool. It feels fantastic. I love it. I've been wearing it quite a bit now, um, especially because it's going to be cooler. This thing is like a, an all seasons type jacket with a nice soft liner. It's got armpit vents, which I think I've got mine open. So cold air is getting in and that actually works, which is sick. And this dude's just a full on legend. He's here in Melbourne as well. And he just started up this brand because he couldn't find the, the gear that he sort of wanted. So he thought he'd just design his own. How sick's that? And he's actually sponsoring this vid, which is mad as well. These are his gloves. They look hip. Full on phone touchy stuff. You can do all the things. Um, and they're warm and you know padded and this is the jackets armored zippers everywhere I've got a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out you get 10% off Everything store wide if you use my link makes for a bloody good time <laughs> Kids hey <laughs> kids We're so obnoxious, man. Electric vehicle only, so he's got a Tesla as well. We want to try doing a rolling shoot, so he just programs his Tesla to just do autopilot styles, and then he'll just hang out the car and shoot me while I'm riding. That's going to make for another episode. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever done that before. Surely. But with bikes? I don't know. Wow, this is sick. What? Look at that full-on little tiny-ass destroyer. It's the Melbourne Destroyer. Is that where you took your shot before? Yeah. yeah. On your Instagram. What's your Instagram? You got a new Insta you got a new Instagram for your bike? Street scrambler down under. Street scrambler down under. He's got like two photos on there. I've got three photos. You got three photos. Fifty eight followers. Fifty eight. Drop it. I'll, I'll link his Instagram in the description below. Go go check him out. Send him a follow. He needs it. He needs some love. <laughs> He'll post more stuff, especially after tonight. Yeah, let's do it. This is sick though. I like this. We are so obnoxious. Loud and obnoxious. Ah, yes. I always leave my indicator on because I can't see the damn thing. I feel like the whole gauge down there is starting to give me issues. I don't know if this is my calling now to suss out putting a tiny gauge up the only issue is is that obviously you've got all the moods and everything all the ride bloody things changing like traction and all that nice indicator bloody new south wales driver look <laughs> gold and black number plates yeah so bark do one they do a tiny little gauge but you need a whole module thing so it costs like it costs so much just to change it just to change it from this to a tiny little thing because this doesn't actually if you take this off or disconnect it you can't crank the bike over it doesn't start up you need this in to be able to run the bike which sucks. And obviously if I drop it on this side, the, the gauge is gone and I'm screwed anyway. I just don't like it here. I just, I've never, I just, uh, I don't like it. And then, I, and you know, I just don't like it. Whoa, can we even get in here? What's the dealio? Oh, it's open, what? Oh, this is ridiculously cool. Holy crap, Ola. What, man, this is, look at, are you, guys. <laughs> Are you seeing this? This is like a photographer's dream, man. Make a mad video here. Oh, full on steam. It's actually rolling. What? Wow. This is so good. Yeah, it's mad. So they do the full steam trains on the weekends here and stuff, which is which is nice, you know. It's like good vibes, good steamy vibes. What? <laughs> what the hell? He's going to murder me. Wow! Yeah, we got bloody heaps to work with. Good man, how are you? Let's go take a couple little photos. You can make it twenty. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. Yes, yeah, so these are the Zard. Which one's this? Which Zard's that? I don't know the high pitch whiny one. <laughs> Are you happy with it or not? I love it. You love it. What have you got? Like, talk me, talk us through your bike. Like, what have you done to it? 
Okay. And this is a desert, this is the um, sandstorm edition, eh? 2021 sandstorm edition. So I guess the first thing I did was get all the brushed metal bits, take them off and powder coat them all black. That, coat behind there, this one, this. Oh, anything on there that was silver had to go. Was that silver there as well? Oh yeah, that, yeah, that was silver. Well. Same, uh, same on the other side. Yeah. Tires, got rid of the metal. They look, tires. they look good these, hey? Shinko. The old Shinko boys. Yeah. I'm thinking of doing something similar. Just to change it up a little bit. Yeah, very much so. I changed the bars, so I went with the Speed Twin bars. And they, they bring the bars in by a good inch on either side. Just makes it easier for lane filtering. Tail tidy, the so rips tail off. Yep. Some Kellerman. Kellerman indicators, yeah, hells yeah. And obviously mirrors and... Yeah, levers and all that. Know, levers, brake things. Yep. This little bracket here is pretty sweet. Oh, that's right. That's the one from... What's his name? Thornton 100. Thornton 100, yeah. So it's got the quad lock mount built into there and it's all dead center where mine's like offset <laughs> and it annoys the hell out of me yeah see <laughs> it just it just doesn't reach because it bumps here and yeah symmetry's nice we should shoot hey it's gonna the sun's gonna go oh my boy they got 85 this is a grumpy dude man Turn up. Yeah, I got the. I got this going. He's claiming that we've been ripping it up, up and down here. Let me just get some photos still, eh? Yeah, it's not us, man. <laughs> Look at that, man. What the hell? He's delirious as. Do you want to get a couple of quick photos of me? <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> this guy's full on the horn to the cops, hey? What a grumpy dude. What a grumpy, grumpy man. <laughs> so what do you say? Like there's been people ripping it up and down here. Oh, you know you come in here and I said what for? For coming out and tearing up and down here. What? No, we just came through here and... <laughs> and, and yeah, bloody ass. Here we go. And we got footage of everything anyway, we spoke to the dude, like it's all good. I can't believe just how cranky he was, man. I know, he's shaking like he's gonna have a heart attack. Wow. Well, the cops would even just be like, ugh, it's that fucking old guy again. Oh, it's not for sale, mate. <laughs> what exactly have we done wrong, buddy? Uh, not supposed to be here after real, mate. As I said to you, there's a gentleman wearing a blue jumpsuit with a cap That's turned up and a beard me, and he said, no worries, mate. That's got nothing to do with it, mate. We're not causing any trouble, trouble, mate. We're going, all right? <laughs> oh, relax to be here, though. <laughs> Alrighty, well, nothing really happened. It's just, I don't know, just the real grumpy, <laughs> grumpy old dude, man. I reckon it's just been like kids or something, maybe tearing it up and down. He thought it was us, he just accused us of all this crap. Uh, whatever. Took our regios down, whatever, whatever that means. But it was sick though, what a mad location. Uh, my battery died in the GoPro, but got some bangers of Corey with the steam train. It was sick. But we're gonna go and get a pizza now because the, the light has gone and um we're hungry well hungry hungry men thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video check out black pup moto links in the description get 10 percent off you will froth on it it's awesome gear so right now my armpits are cooling down because i was sweating like a mofo because this actually keeps you warm with the liner in and it's really soft and nice and comfortable it's good gear i'm actually stoked uh enjoy i'll see you in the next one Peace!